Okay, I thought I'd do a quick demo of the new Spitfire. It's just come out today for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going to take a quick tour of uh, Blackpool up in England on the west coast. Uh, it's a really cool area. I also downloaded the uh, add-ons for that one because the generic one is <coughs> pretty boring, but um, there's an add-on pack that has done an incredible job. So I'll show that. Um, here we are on the runway, ready to fly. <coughs> You'll notice that it starts off in a weird position with the tail wheel off the ground, but that'll fix itself pretty shortly. So, uh, let me just get my chair up right, <coughs> and we'll take off now. It's, whoa, yeah, it's really skittish on the ground. I wasn't paying attention when I was trying to... Yikes, that was bad. <coughs> uh, they do suggest changing the uh, rudder trim before you take off. And I, the first time I took off, I had no problem. But uh, this time, and I wasn't paying quite as much attention. <coughs> You'll notice the yellow line starts at 180 knots, which, but then the red line doesn't hit until 580, so it's kind of a wide latitude there. Gear up, throttle down, you see Blackpool, there's an amusement park coming up on the right. This thing is really, really skittish, it just bounces around like crazy. Cool amusement park. And then one off to the left as well. Actually, I don't think that's an amusement park because that's a shipping warehouse. And the famous Blackpool Tower ahead of us. It's pretty amazing. And the general town of Blackpool. Not too sure how how much the custom add-on added there. Anywho, I'm going to turn around and fly back. Uh, might as well show I've done inverted flight. Relatively easy plane to fly, although it is, is skittish, but that's to be expected for a World War II fighter plane. Okay, I'm going to come back around and fly back down to the airport. I'm going to demonstrate the landing. I <coughs> have not uh, perfected landings on this thing. I usually can bring it down fairly uh, softly. But the challenge is stopping it because if you apply too much brake, it goes over on its nose. <coughs> and if you don't keep it centered properly, it uh, tips over on a wing. I'm going to come in very, very slow, but not too slow, otherwise you stall. So it's quite a combination. Let's just swing this around so we can see our coastline. Line up from this angle. Cool view of the 
amusement park. And uh, oh, there's our runway. So come around. I gotta bring the speed down so I can get flaps extended. This thing does not slow easily and there's no speed brakes or anything. Flaps are 85 degrees of flap, which is pretty aggressive and it's all or nothing. Okay, lower the flaps and lower the gear. want the airspeed to be around 90, 95 knots. Looking good. Not bad. I'll take it, full throttle off. And you gotta keep the elevator full up, otherwise it will not over. And as opposed to just slamming on the brakes, you gotta kinda feather them in. And be careful not to just. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. You see, it just takes forever. As soon as I go too hard on the brakes, that tailwheel comes off and I got nothing keeping it down right now. It just goes forever. That's one thing I forgot to do. I can go in here, I'll show you the Here's the we got throttle control and then we also have a prop, which I should have brought down. Um, now I'm trying to remember, <coughs> still not familiar with the, the cockpit. Let's see if I can figure out how to turn this thing off. Where did I see? For starting it. Oh, here we go. Magnetos, that'll kill it. And there we go. Start to finish. Successful quick tour of uh, Blackpool, England. Hope you enjoyed it.